Let's go fossil collecting along the Jurassic Coast today. I'm looking for all these curiosities on my way. It's a beautiful day, but don't be deceived. The weather is very, very cold. We've had snow down here in Dorset and Devon, and I've seen the hinterland absolutely covered in places with good amounts of snow. So come with me, let's see what I can find for you to see out here through to the east of Lyme Regis at low tide. I'm waiting for the tide to lower. I'm gonna be aware of the dangerous cliffs. Well, let's head out fossil collecting today and see just how red my hands can get from the cold. Stay away from the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning along the Jurassic Coast. It's quite a slump of mud from the top. It's a beautiful day here at Black Ven. You can see down there in the distance, the Charmouth Heritage Centre and then you can see the golden cap covered in snow at the top there. Here's a nice little find on the beach. Can you spot a fossil with me here? Just down here. Whoops, I've dropped it. I've dropped the catch. piece of ichthyosaur bone. There's something on the beach down there, let's pick it up. Let's see what it's saying. Well it's been a beautiful sunny day here so far and uh, that's really uh, helped keep my hands warmer than they could have been and i'm just passing a waterfall now with a lot of direct runoff probably from the snow melting up on top let's have a look along the beach see what i can see and spot as i see fossils washed out of the mudslides onto the beaches you can see the sun down here and it's heading into a bit of cloud cover so once the sun goes my hands are going to get a lot colder today and you can see just here a bit of a snow flurry up there well just how cold can my hands get on this winter's day well it's like a winter's day i think it's still autumn in the books can i get them as red as that button i've just found from the old victorian bottle dump sharp sounding and impressions on the outside to give the game away there might be some more on the inside of the fossil ammonite so I'm going to tap this and you can have a see what I get in the rock it's nicely layered seems to be one around that area there Let's just break this rock through the middle there's just one ammonite on the edge of the rock where the sea had eroded it and you can see the lovely brown calcite but that's where the sea had eroded the rock. See if you can spot this iron pyrite ammonite here on the beach. Can you see it here? Yeah, just under that bit of metal. The tide is lowering nicely now. Well, here on the beach in this beautiful sunlight is a little beauty. Can you spot it with me? Yep, there it is, just down there in the iron pyrite. 
I'm just gonna bring that up to the camera for you to have a look at. Little laminite preserved in the fool's gold. I've actually spotted a few people out on this cold and sunny day in Lime Bay. Here is one of the ammonites you can see just on the beach down here. And it's quite nondescript. As you look here with the pin, I can just do a bit of work here, picking the mud off. Well, I've just settled down here on this bit of mud. It's a nice area that's quite out of the wind and I'm gonna have my cost of living crisis sandwiches here. I'll get them out and uh, I'll show you what I'm eating today. Look at that, it's a turkey feast sandwich on special there. Also too, I've got a poncho and let's see if my hands go as red as that poncho. I got that on eBay, nice and cheap, just shopping around. It's a nice thing to wear during the stormy weather, which is gonna occur during the weekend. I think they've got a named storm coming in. So let's see how I cope during the storm. Well, as I've said before, food always tastes good when you're out and about in the fresh air. Let's have some of that sandwich. Well, I hope you're enjoying this fossil hunting content that I'm bringing you. It's free to subscribe, so please do so if you're enjoying the fossil hunt so far. Mm. I haven't found a lot, but these are some of the beautiful curiosities you can find along the Jurassic Coast in the winter time. Here is a piece of petrified wood from the Jurassic Coast, and you can see the limestone rock surrounding it. It's quite a nice big chunky bit there. And I'll show you the fossilized wood, the agatized and silicified wood that I found in the chert bed and polished up. I brought some out to show you what I dearly love to find today. Here's some agatized and silicified wood that I polished up. Very beautiful fossilized wood from the Cretaceous period. The other bit here is from the Jurassic marine sediments. Let's go fossil collecting along the Jurassic coast today. Let's do some sieving out here, see what we can find. There's a little perfect pirate ammonite. I've just spotted it at the top here. A fossil ammonite from the Jurassic period washed out of the mudslides by the sea's actions. And I'll just uh, highlight that. Well, just how red did my hands go today? Let's have a look. Pretty cold, but Let's compare them to my tape on my hickory handled hammer. They're not as bad as usual. I usually get very cold in the winter months, as you've seen and have commented on before. Today's been snowy. You can see the snow out in the distance, but my hands have bared up. The sea's still relatively warm. Well, we've got the setting sun down there in Lyme Regis. Let's head down and I'll show you some sights and sounds in the town.